Why be a PA and be limited by hospital and state regulations? Why not practice to the fullest potential in your specialty? A doctor can do anything a PA can and more, can't say the same in reverse. Yeah, that's true. A doctor can obviously do anything a PA can and more, except for getting 10 years of their life back. That's the main thing a doctor cannot do that a PA obviously can do, uh, just by the shorter training. So for instance, the reason most people, like I've been doing this a long time, okay? I've been advising people on getting into PA school for a very long time. It's been five years going on six, since literally like I got my acceptance letter, I started helping people write their essays, do all this and that. And I've been listening to hundreds of people's stories at this point, why they wanna be a PA. And it's always the same thing. Shorter training, more time for just life outside of work, more time for family, and switching specialties, lateral mobility. It's always those three things, always those three. So, and then like you have to write this unique essay about like, why do I wanna be a PA? How do I make this not what everybody else says? And essentially everyone says the same things, they just dress it up differently. That's why people wanna be a PA. They want to practice medicine at a high level, they wanna be a provider, but they don't wanna spend 10, 12, whatever years in training. Okay, that's why. So the reason for that is, like some people just don't understand uh, the mentality, because like a lot of people, especially people who go into medicine uh, as doctors, who become PhDs, MDs, uh, any sort of terminal degree that takes years and years and years and years and years and all this like 100% commitment for those years, those kinds of people, that's one personality. They want to do everything they do in life, like to the absolute fullest, and usually you only have time to do one or two things that way. People who want to be PAs kind of seek balance more than they seek mastery. They seek balance. They want a life with family. And yes, doctors have families, but usually doctors work a whole lot more. There's a lot more demanded on them, especially if they're surgeons, forget about it. Uh, but there's a lot more demanded on their time, on their effort, on their just like in general, like a lot more of their life has to go to medicine usually compared to a PA. PAs want time with family. Yes, a doctor and a PA will both have families. However, the PA's kids will actually know who they are. The PA's kids will actually spend time with that PA as opposed to the doctor's kids who, you know, that's kind of like the trope where the, you know, a neurosurgeon's kids drive around in, you know, Ferraris or whatever, but they don't know his name or they don't know like anything about dad because he's always working. I didn't want that at all. So I wanted to become a PA. I also wanted to have the freedom to do other things with my time and my life and my effort and my talents besides just medicine. I love medicine. I can't see myself doing anything else for a day job, but I don't want that to consume my entire life. Okay, so for that, for the freedom to be able to do more with my life than just practice medicine, I am trading what this person is saying, which is practicing to your fullest potential, really understanding your specialty much more than I ever will as a PA, all that stuff, being limited by state and hospital regulations, always having a doctor sign off on my charts, X, Y, and Z, all that stuff. Yeah, obviously you have way more freedom, you have way more prestige, way more money, way more autonomy as a doctor, but I am trading all those things for the stuff that I just mentioned earlier. That's why I chose to be a PA.